Okay, so I already tried to make this update. Um, it didn't turn out so well, so I'm trying again, and here's hoping I can nail it in one take, or else I might be so demoralized that I might not do it at all, because <laughs> that's a bad habit of mine. Anyways, um, the day is uh, June 17th, 2021, apparently. <clears throat> it's just after 1 a.m., so it's barely June 17th, but we're there. So that makes it two months since my last video. In two months, I have gone from 338 pounds to 316 as of yesterday. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I feel pretty good about that. That's, what, 22, 22 pounds in two months, so 11 per month. Um what is that uh like a, a quarter of a pound a day perhaps i don't i'm not positive uh i'm not very good at math i can't just do shit quickly in my head like that you'll have to bear with me <laughs> but i'm i'm thrilled uh very thrilled i have some other good news um it's not just about weight of course but like health and um being more fit, I guess you could say. Uh, so actually, my blood pressure meds, I'm taking half of what I had been before. Um, I haven't actually seen my doctor yet. I need to. I have an appointment. I think it's next week. It's the it's 20 something. I wrote it down somewhere. I'm not going to miss it, but I can't remember off the top of my head, hence why I wrote it down. Um, yeah, I have to see my doctor and get my meds officially adjusted, but for now, um, you know, the 30 milligram lisinopril pills that I have been taking, I've been splitting them in half and just taking half now every 24 hours. And, um, it seems to be just fine. Uh, my blood pressure stays, uh, 100s over like 60s, somewhere in there. Um, if I take one of my propanolol as well, then it will, it'll definitely drop below that. Um, God, when my propanol oil kicks in, I, I've seen it go like upper 80s over low 40s. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to stay awake when it gets like that. <laughs> um, but I haven't even been taking my propanol oil at each dose because I had been taking um, half of a 10 milligram pill every 12 hours. I'm down to 24 hours now, except not always every 24 hours, because sometimes, like, the time will come around, and I'll be at, like, 58 beats per minute, and it's just like, I don't know if I feel comfortable taking a fucking propanol all right now, so that's good news, um, yeah, the other thing, the other big thing that I've noticed is my cardio finally seems to be improving, um, to a noticeable extent, uh, I've been walking this one route through my neighborhood, which is, you know, I live in Appalachia. It's, it's hilly. Um, also I'm still over 300 pounds. So, <laughs> so it's a little bit challenging. Uh, I mean, I can do it, but there's definitely, there's this one hill in particular that by the time I get over the top of it and I'm finally starting to come down the other side, it feels like the fucking blood vessels in my head are going to explode like it's just pounding in my temples and it's just like oh my god this is misery um the last time i went up it it wasn't that bad like it's still challenging but it's nowhere near the like hopeless desperate gasping for air and oh my god why does my chest hurt kind of situation like no it's it's still a challenge, but it feels, you know, less like death now. <laughs> so I'm taking, I'm taking that as a good sign. I'm going to chalk that one up as a win. Um, of course, you know, the plan is only to keep going. I don't know if I mentioned in the original video, but shortly after that video, I started taking uh, Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu classes. Uh, those have been going well enough um i feel like my size is sort of a hindrance in jujitsu uh in terms of my flexibility 
Like, there's some positions that I just can't get into because my body's in the way. Like, my legs and arms are just too fat, frankly, as much as I don't like saying it that way. There's just, there's too much diameter there <laughs> for certain things to really fit properly. Uh, if you've ever been, you know, really big and done jujitsu, then you might understand some of what I'm talking about. Um, you know, like in a, in a guard position, when you go to like, there are times when you'll cross your feet behind their back and I usually can't reach to put my ankles across each other. Like <laughs> it's, I don't know. Yeah. Shit like that. Um, certain positions with my arms, uh, it's the same thing. And on top of that, I honestly am having trouble finding a gi that fits properly. Uh, I have two. One of them is a Fuji A6, I think, size-wise. Um, and I can't fit the pants. The top, I can barely get around me properly. Um, so that's another reason why I'm not... <laughs> I'm not feeling too hot about jujitsu, but I know it's good for me and also, like, Frankly, the main reason why I started taking these classes was not for the exercise. It was because I wanted to know, you know, how to fight. <laughs> you know, being that I work in security, like physical security, not infosec. Um, it just seems like something I, a skill set, a skill set that I should have if I could speak properly. On top of certain, you know, personal concerns. I mean, all around, I try to be like sort of mindful of self-defense like you know i i carry a gun but that can't be your only tool there's pepper spray and then i'm learning how to fight and i took those medical classes like cpr first aid certification but also the stop the bleed program that i think is i think it's the american college of surgeons that offers that one so like you know tourniquets wound packing chest seals shit like that i know about um and, you know, I keep that equipment around, shit like that. Uh, it's just a whole multifaceted thing. And, again, <laughs> losing weight goes back into that. But it's just, you know, interesting how there's kind of a, a synergistic relationship there. But they're also, in another sense, unrelated goals. Like, I didn't start losing weight with that stuff in mind. But it definitely helps. And in my pursuit of that stuff, I'm also losing weight because of the classes I'm taking. So anyways, enough of that rant. Um, Muay Thai, though, I love, which I knew I would. I had taken some Taekwondo before. I was, I was like fucking 14 or something. So of course, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't anything terribly serious. Uh, I will give credit to the place where I uh, took those classes, though. They didn't do purely like the, the traditional like tournament stuff, you know, all the hokey fucking spinning jump kick shit <laughs> that you just, you wouldn't do in an actual fight because it just fucking leaves you wide open to get your ass beat. But, you know, as much as they, they did cover some of that, there were also times when I was uh, taking those Taekwondo classes that we would actually spar and you would just be in, you know, your traditional sort of boxing type stance and, you know, just throwing punches and sort of low kicks, you know, it, uh, it felt practical. And there are some things that I learned there that have applied in Muay Thai here. Um, so yeah, I've been enjoying that like I knew I would. And I'm, I'm positive it's helping me burn calories. But um, let's see. I feel like there's there's more going on that I'm missing, but I'm not not totally positive. Um, I kind of wish I had reference picks to sort of demonstrate, you know, because the only thing you as viewers have to go off of is my word at this point. I'm going to have to actually start showing weigh-ins or something, though I'm sure I can't please everybody. I know there's always going to be people that are like, oh, this could be edited somehow. This could be some kind of trick something could be up with this scale or whatever. I, 
I know not everybody is going to be pleased or satisfied, I guess is maybe the, the word I was looking for. Uh, whatever. But I mean, these, these videos aren't going to be very engaging if it just remains like, you know, me saying that this is happening and you just <laughs> taking my word for it completely. Um, I do realize that. So I need to figure something out as far as that goes for the next update. If I even continue doing these, I don't know. I feel kind of embarrassed. This feels really vulnerable. And I know that like everything I do is like peak cringe. Like I, <laughs> I realize that. Um, I just don't know any other way to be, I guess that's what I am. And I just, you know, I'm at the point where it's like, I'm tired of fighting it. So I guess I'll just brace it and be the fucking cringe Lord. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, anyways, let's, let's zoom out and get like a, a full picture, I guess of, okay. So. That's where I started this sort of whole adventure that I'm still currently going on. Um, yep, December 1st, 379 to now 316. I don't know how many days or months that is. I'm going to be real with you. I guess it's like seven and a half months. Thereabouts. Seven and a half months and 63 pounds. I feel like that's that's okay. <laughs> It's definitely a sharper drop than back here. Yeah, that was 2015. And then, like, the lowest point I had had before now, if I could fucking click on it right. Jesus. Oh, God damn it. I had it for a second. There we go. Yeah, 300 in 2017. So it took me two years to drop 83. Um, shit, over, like fuck almost three years to drop 83 in the past granted you know if i had gone straight down and stayed down instead of having these sort of like you know this peak or this peak um you know it could have been different but still like to just have a straight drop off like that where i'm at now it's kind of weird <laughs> I, I think I've mentioned this in the, the original video, but I've never, like, intentionally lost a large amount of weight before. Like, a few pounds at a time has been just about it. Like, this whole situation here was really just because I moved, and it led to a lot of changes in my lifestyle. Um, you know, it wasn't some kind of program that I had decided to follow, you know? It just... It was due to the circumstances of my living situation, really. Um, and I guess you could kind of argue that, you know, from there back up was sort of the same. Um, I'm not saying that as in like, you know, I'm not going to take responsibility for me gaining all that weight back. I know why it happened and I know that there were things that I could have done to prevent it, but I mean, largely, the biggest the biggest situation was that when I came back here, I had access to food on a whole new level than I did when I was, um, you know, from spring 2015 to it would have been summer of 2017. Just a really huge disparity in my ability to, like, actually get and cook and eat food, <laughs> which is a long story. I don't want to go into all that. But there was that. And I just, you know, I let my appetite run away back to what it was, you know, pre-2015 when I was just hugely overeating every day. Um, I fell right back into that old habit. That, uh-oh, got a text from my girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry. So there was that. And also I stopped walking like, you know, 2016 through most of 2017, I was walking a shitload. Um, almost on a daily basis, like, you know, not only did I have a much more physical job, but then outside of that, on my, you know, in my, my free time, on my days off, like, I would just go and walk miles, because, you know, I lived somewhere where there was, there was shit that I wanted to see, places that I wanted to go, things that I wanted to do, and, you know, I could walk, 
So, you know, now that I'm out here in the fucking boonies, <laughs> there's no public transport or any of that shit. Not even any sidewalk and everything's all hilly. I was like, fuck that. I don't want to walk out here. And so, yeah, between that and the access to food and not giving a shit about my runaway appetite problem, that's what happened. That brought me all the way back up. Um... And I just, I didn't really do anything about it from, you know, fucking late 2018 until, you know, the end of 2020. I just let it go. Um, it is interesting to me that there was kind of like a stopping point where, you know, I would hit about 380 and then just like stay there. And I was 380 back here too. Like, I don't think I've ever been over 390 or thereabouts um so that's interesting that there's a, there's an upper limit there uh i don't know enough about you know the body and metabolism and shit like that to tell you what the deal is with that but um in any case <laughs> i hope not to push that ceiling in fact i would like to see if there's a lower limit somewhere um I'm going to go ahead and say that I don't expect to ever be under like 195. That's like my <laughs> pipe dream goal because, you know, I'm, I'm six foot. I'm not on hormones or anything. So, you know, I'm male. Um, yeah, 195, I think it's just fine. And if I got any lower than that, I would be fucking shocked. And I will say that um, I don't know so much about BMI. I don't know if I take BMI too seriously, but like body comp, for example, um, I'm not sure I would want to get any lower than 10 because at that point, like, especially like, you know, Schwarzenegger in his prime, think about it. Like he was, some of these guys might get under 5% when they go to like a, a show to compete, you know, and that shit is just grotesque. It's Ugh. <laughs> I don't like it. So I think, yeah, 10% body fat is going to be, if I could get any lower than that, I don't want to anyways. Uh, so that's definitely going to be, that's a lower limit right there that I'm setting for myself. But I get the suspicion I won't even get there. Um, we'll see. I'm going to do what I can. Um, I would like to just get under 20 20% body fat. If I could just do that, 20 or under, I would be satisfied, I think. Um, I have to manage my mindset here because I know that it's easy to fall into that sort of psychological trap of, you know, it's never enough. Like, oh, I'm I'm down to 195 now, but I still feel like I'm too big. You know, I still hate myself when I look in the mirror, so I'm just going to keep going. And then, you know, it gets to the point where I'm like six foot, 160 pounds or something. <laughs> and just getting to the point where I'm starting to, you know, kind of waste away. And it's just like, you know, that's that's not good. You can't be like that. So I'm trying to keep that in mind, you know, and, you know, it's part managing my expectations so that I don't get too demoralized when I don't get my way, like, immediately, you know? And part also, like, trying to keep myself grounded in reality and just, you know, prioritize my health. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, not, I'm not thinking of anything else that I really wanted to say, I guess. Um... Yeah, uh, that's that's been an update. We'll see how it goes in another month, two months. We'll see. <laughs> you'll know um, if it goes like half a year and I haven't uploaded another one, then you'll know that I've stopped losing weight. Um, okay, then. I'm going to go see what my girlfriend's texting me about. See you, everybody.